This project represents a five-year slice of research in connection with the Langlands program and its implications for number theory specifically. The Langlands program is a vast area of mathematics that involves hundreds of people around the world and it has many different facets. The Langlands program is the insight that two branches of mathematics, two areas of mathematics, one having to do with symmetry and geometry and the other one having to do with numbers, reflect each other in a very precise way. And with minor adjustments, his insights have proved to be right 50 years later. Then there's another part, and this is an attempt to apply the insights of the geometric Langlands program. It's particularly strong here at the IHES to the Mod P local Langlands program. That's an ongoing project within number theory. One of the hopes was that this would help to uh, give it a new start or get it to start in another direction. So those are the aspects of the project. It started in January of 2016 here. This particular occasion is in honor of the French School of Automorphic Forms. Automorphic forms is really one of the very central topic in number theory and it has been one of the most successful topic in recent years. The starting point of IHS was modeled on the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton. Paris is the most concentrated center of specialists it has been, and most of the speakers are people who were trained in the, in the Paris School. Freedom of research is really the DNA of the Institute. When someone is coming here, is, he has complete freedom. It's one of the places where people go to think without distractions. It's important for people to be in the same place to get work done. People came here to collaborate several times and I also traveled to report on this work. There's nothing that replaces face-to-face -face interaction. This ERC project right now is supporting three postdocs to do original research. Mathematics is a subject that needs time and needs concentration. I'm very happy because of the grant. I like some other young researchers and never worried about the financial support. So I have a chance during the five years to attend a lot of conferences to see the most recent progress in, in mathematics and to find interesting things. So I'm really grateful to Michael and to you as a grant. Yeah. The opportunity to pursue your own ideas is just uh, fantastic. Lately, I have been focusing on using some tools that come uh, really from differential geometry to tackle some problems in number theory. And I needed some time to essentially learn an area that is not exactly mine. And this was a very good environment to do that. At the typical conference, people talk about the problems they've solved. And these conferences, the aim was to approach existing problems from new perspectives. The idea is that people with different points of view and different backgrounds, by sharing their insights, would be able to find new perspectives and then formulate the problems in new ways. The first one was in Pisa, and that was connected specifically with this geometrization project, the one relating the geometric language program to the arithmetic. Here, it was the first time that we had people coming from derived algebraic geometry coming into the game. And this brilliant idea that had Michael was to gather people from these two really separate domains together, to try to think together, and maybe try to see whether this connection could kind of go far enough to maybe give up to theorem. This was a very different kind of conferences. In fact, I've never been to such a conference. We are trying to work on Langland's program, but there is no conjecture. You don't know what it should be. So maybe you can find a good formulation using new techniques, techniques that the people in the London program do not know. To me at that time I was really a young mathematician, so it was really exciting and well, you know, meeting new people is always very interesting mathematically because, well, they come with new ideas and other backgrounds. 
knowing this, I mean, you really want to discuss with them and try to build bridge and maybe try to prove things together. And so coming up back to my home institution, I was discussing more with colleagues coming from topology, for instance, which I wouldn't say wouldn't have kind of come up in my mind at some point, but definitely not that fast. The second one was held in Greece last year on a different aspect, more along the lines of automorphic motives. Again, it was people from different perspectives to bear people who were more, I would say, automorphic and people who were more arithmetic. That was another, I think, rather successful conference. And the third one, this is more traditional in the sense that the concerns that are being discussed are, for the most part, the sorts of things that were present to the mind of the very first people in the field, the Langlands in particular. The history of the field in mathematics is always important. And doing this conference, it's sort of seeing how the subject has broadened. In the middle of the planning, then we learned that Roger Godemont had died, and so that seemed to be an appropriate focus for the conference because he was one of the very first people to recognize the importance of Langlands' work. I saw in the room lots of young people, so probably people in a doctorate or postdoctorate, and I think for them this conference will be a really important step in their career and in their research. Well, actually, even at this conference, I anticipate that new directions will be developed. I'm particularly excited by Jim Arthur's talk. I think everybody found that very stimulating because he ended in a surprising way with sketching or hinting at a completely new direction in the language program. The first project that was completed was one jointly with Richard Taylor, Jack Thorne, and Kai Wen Lan. That suggested some new directions, and then a few years after that, I started working with two colleagues, Gebhard Böckler and Shekhar Kari. We started talking to Jack Thorne, who had been on this previous project, and very quickly the project accelerated and grew into a paper. It's going to continue beyond the duration of this particular ERC project, and other people are getting involved as well. I wrote a paper with Harold Grobner on this material. Some of the postdocs have been working directly in this project. Lin Jia, who is my student, and she's become my collaborator, and she has taken over one big chunk of the original proposal, and she solved part of it in her thesis, and the rest of it is being finished in our current collaboration with Harold Grobener. So I want to grant ends, but actually our project, even the part two of Michael's mm. project, has been expanding afterwards, so we still have many things can be done, I think. And there are many applications also of our work. It mostly refers to a different paper that's in process right now with another group of collaborators, and that's a paper on piatic L functions, essentially. That was actually closely related to the, the topic of the conference in Greece, which has led to a, another new project. So that, one, again, was not at all anticipated in the original project, but it's, it's an outgrowth of it. And finally, the geometrization projects, well, that is still largely speculative. We've clarified some of the issues and, and the relations between the issues. That was mostly the topic of the seminars at the Math Institute in Berkeley. Also, the conference in Pisa was mostly devoted to that. And I also think that these listed projects have more to do with one another. Insights from one part of the project have been reflected in another one. The hope is that by bringing people together, the obstacles to further understanding will be identified, and then in the course of identifying them, some sense of what is needed to overcome the obstacles will become clearer. We have already done more than what has written in the, in the project, and after going to details, we actually find something more can be done. I find that my work has become much more varied. It makes you not scared of trying things, even if they're a bit out of your comfort zone. Undoubtedly, the 
the ability to work with so many different collaborators and to organize activities with so many different people has led me to think about things in a way I wouldn't have otherwise. The air cigarette makes a difference.